In problem number 14, I ask you to sketch the graph of f of x on the sign chart. Well, in part A, that sign chart is for f of x. Where each of the dots are, that's when the function is equal to 0. So those will be x-intercepts. And if the function is negative, that means the graph of the function is below the x-axis. If it's positive, then the function is going to be above the x-axis. And when the function is negative again, now it goes down below again. Smoothing it all out gives me a nice function like that. All right, the tricky part is in part B. Because in part B, we want to sketch the graph of f of x. And the sign chart is exactly the same, except this is a sign chart for the derivative of f of x. And remember, the derivative is the slopes of the tangent lines. So when... Um, the derivative is negative, that means the tangent lines have a negative slope, which means that the function is going down. It doesn't mean that it's going down to an x-intercept. In fact, this graph could be shifted anyway. It just means it's going down. That's all. When the derivative is 0, that's when it's going to turn around, or at least have a horizontal tangent line. Then on the next interval, the derivative is positive, and since the derivative is the slope of the tangent line, the slope has to be positive, which means that the function is going to go back up again until its derivative is zero. So at this point, we should have another horizontal tangent line. Then the derivative becomes negative again, so the function become, begins to decrease again. It goes down again. Smoothing it all out, we should get a nice smooth curve like this.